to be there away from like your home base to be away in Dallas and shooting? Is it do you miss home or is it like fun new adventure? It's a new city. I love shooting on location because it the cast and the crew get much closer because yeah. of that. Mm -hmm. um, but Dallas is close enough that it's like a two hour yeah. plane ride away. Absolutely. It's so not that bad. It's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's not that bad. And, and also, it's it's like you know, you, and, and you get you, you get to feel a part of the city that you're in, you know, that you're working in and you're interpreting. So mm -hmm. it's nice. It's nice to to feel like you know, like even like when I was saying about the women in Dallas, I had never expected women to be so fashion, fashionable, and mm. they really do care, and they dress up, so it kind of really just gives you an idea of how, you know, how people the women should be on the, on the show, yeah. No, now, who's the conniver? Who's more like Sue Ellen? Who's... We're not telling. Oh, uh, come uh, on, good guy, come spoilers. on. Spoilers. <laughs> so I'm know. guessing you have. So, what's it like to lead a double life? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, you know, I think it's it's funny because all our characters are not what they seem, but I think it's everybody has a little bit of something, and and mm -hmm. and that's the beauty of a show like this. You know, that it's you just never know where it's coming. We never knew while we were working. We had to like literally as soon as we got a script, yeah. we're like, holy shit. So yeah, uh, like how far in advance do you get your cliffhanger? So they try to keep you. We didn't know keep it from you a little until the end. We would have to push to get scripts, okay. and then yeah. we get like an advanced, advanced copy, and then we get like the cop, and then we would text each other and be like, "Oh my god!" But it would be about a week before shooting. Yeah. Okay. And they would if they if, so if they lucky, yeah. scripts that they would be watermarked, and then we would get the once we got the pages, we would have to send them to the production office to be shredded. Yeah. Like wow. it was crazy. So yeah. if anything ever comes even out, our sides for the day yeah. had our names on it. All over, so we couldn't yeah. lose the sides because totally we had them our name all the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we because it's like you don't want to leave them somewhere, and then some, an, uh, you know, an extra or, or somebody outside of right. the of the job would pick them up, and it's like, <laughs> like I have so much in my head because there's more than one twist per episode. Right, right. it's kind of yeah. crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Now you both, what would you say would be one role that prepared you for this that you did before this? What do you mean? Like, what was some, uh, some other acting role or something that prepared you to be this person in this role now? Oh, I don't think anything really prepares yeah. you. I think that as an actor, you, you, you kind of just, you dive into, you, you create a soul and a character, and it, everyone's different. Yeah? Yeah, we have multiple personalities. <laughs> Everybody does on Dallas. <laughs> Except for Bobby. <laughs> did any of the original cast members have any pointers for you? It was like... As a member of Dallas, you might want to play it this way. Not at all. No. No, they're so not those people, which no. is so good. Oh, I think. You know, Linda <laughs> and Patrick, they just said, have fun. Have fun. Right. Don't take yourself too seriously. Yeah. Just, Larry actually advice. said, keep, uh, save your money. Save your money. Yeah. <laughs> have fun and don't take anything too seriously. We're yeah. like, done. <laughs> well, I, he was he was the life of the party back in the day in the set, from what I heard. I've got a friend in L.A. who used to be a stuntman, and he was uh, doing some work in Atlanta one time, and mm -hmm. him and Howard Keel walked into the bar one time. They bought the whole bar drinks. They were there till like, 3 in the morning. That's they closed awesome. the place up. Yeah, Larry, yeah, I could see Larry that. had a good time back in the day. They still have a good time. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we were shooting those promos out in... In LA, and, and, and they wanted, it was like a table and food, and we were all like freezing, but we we're like, okay, being, you know, normal, and, and, and they wanted to start a food fight right away. I mean, <laughs> they, they literally joke all the time. They're good peoples. They really are. Now, um, Ray and Cliff mm -hmm. are back, right? For a couple episodes, mm -hmm. I think? Yeah, and so is Lucy. Oh, Lucy is too. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Now, I heard they're trying to reel Pan back. Any truth to that? A what? The Victoria Principle? We don't know. I mean, yeah. not in this season. We don't. We have no idea what yeah. the deal is with that. I mean, we keep right. hearing it now, but it's like while we were shooting, we didn't really hear much of it. Mm -hmm. So I, as, as far as we know, she's not in the first season, but you are, never know. Are they, Lucy and everybody, are they in multiple episodes, like two or three, or are they, I know yeah. they're not main cast members. Yeah, but, yeah, they're, yeah, they're in a few. They're, they're definitely mm -hmm. in a few episodes, yeah. He's cool. the nicest guy ever. Ray. Ray. Yeah. Yeah. Such a cool guy. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Canelli. Yeah. yeah. He's Ray to me. What's that? <laughs> he's Ray. Now I sound like Josh. Josh sometimes calls us by our character names. He gets yeah, he's like, uh, he's really? like, I'm like, he's like Rebecca. Jackson? Yeah, and I'm like, dude, stop it. <laughs> he's really into it. He's really into <laughs> he's really it. There. <laughs> yeah, let's see how far he'll take the whole John Ross. I'm like, well, let's, let's drop it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's funny. We got lucky. We got a really good team. Well, I was wondering how 
uncomfortable it is to do the steamy love scenes because we I mean I only saw a few episodes and it's been like really steamy so was it kind yeah. of like day one take your clothes off let's get acquainted it was day one <laughs> it was day one wow. it was literally do, that? do they do that on purpose I don't know no it's a scheduling thing I mean we shot yeah. the first and second episode back after the pilot together um Mike Robin shot so we were shooting like one day you're shooting second episode the next day you're shooting the first episode so we kind of were all like all over the place but my first day Back in October, where we started the series, um, it was the first episode um, with Jesse, the honeymoon, and I was like, Are "You f kidding me?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, rough. Rough. It, yeah, yeah, but it was just like, "Hey, man, how was your summer?" Okay, <laughs> let's get into yeah. it. You're like a craft services not, talking with the crew, and then you're in bed. Yeah, yeah, it's it's never pleasant. Actually, I know, I don't like those scenes at all. But mm -hmm. you close your eyes and you do it. <laughs> What is and it? for me, I shot the first day on the pilot was a scene with like no clothes, and I would rather do that than anticipate it and like worry about it and then do it. So and maybe they did schedule it. Maybe, I, don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're that nice. But also in terms of making out with someone, I'd rather make out with them and then because like it, with some people, it's like you don't want to know them too well and then because then it's awkward. Yeah. It's like kissing your brother. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Little, yeah, it got yeah, and like at the end of the series, it just got a little weird. Like, okay, Jesse, give me her. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. just give me. But you know, and then it's like you're talking to his girlfriend, like, oh hey, what's up? I'm gonna go yeah. make my boyfriend for a real quick. Sorry. So it's one of those weird <laughs> moments. But yeah, those are always uncomfortable scenes for some reason. But because we, we have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess somebody has to kiss Jesse Micah. I mean, while he's shirtless. Fine, I'll touch it. I'll touch the peg. Wow.